it's been an amazing turnaround and I, I guess when you have a good team in front of you, it maybe makes your job just a little easier, but he's still got to make saves, Brendan, so he's doing that. Islanders have points in 10 of their last 11. Kings have won three straight and eight of nine. And they come into this game with an 11-game road winning streak to start the season, the longest road winning streak to start a season in NHL history. One more win, and they'll have a share of the longest road winning streak at any point in any NHL season at 12. Yeah, it's been remarkable. Well, remarkable for me. Kings. Butterbuck shot swung up there by Cam Talbot again. Tried to play it to the line and stolen away by Trevor Moore. Moore, Fiala, and Beno up over the line and Bortuzzo throws a big body check on his first shift. And he's Ryan Kempe, but it's the Islanders' top line rushing ahead. Anders Lee with one hand able to shoot it on net and got a big rebound off the pads of Talbot. Then back to the front and Lee got a tip. Winds its way around towards Dobson. That one off the, but still over 20% of the time to score a goal, so. Like I said, not terrible, right? Islanders penalty kill has been good lately after a rough stretch. Is a save by Sorokin on the try from Arthur Kelly. And Dowdy opens up, pumps, got Clutterbuck to go down, drags and shoots, change directions. Sorokin lunged for a rebound shot that never came from Byfield. Mikey Anderson. Or Fiala got through, Mayfield winds and shoots big. Blocker saved by Talbot, right to Riley. That one deflected up and over the glass. As P.L. Dubois skates his way up near the line. A pass gets it into the zone. That shot blocked away by Sorokin and right to Holmstrom. Almost seven minutes gone. Opening Puri, Kings and Islanders. Brennan Burke, Butch Goring, Thomas Hickey with you tonight. Game three of a six-game homestand. As the shot from Carl Grundstrom swallowed up. Bashing. Puts the pressure on. Clutterbuck grabs the puck. Got out in front of backhand. Wrapped to the, to the net. And Talbot made a couple of stops. Now the Islanders on the power play, brought to you by our Tri-State Volkswagen dealers. A power play that's been firing on all cylinders lately. Paul Mary right to the net. Must have the wrong crown, so to speak. We got another former king down there between the benches and Thomas Hickey, king's draft pick. Very short-lived. With him. Back from his knees and shot it off the pad of Sorok from a tough angle. Look out, Barzell got popped by England. Challenged by Horvat. Mayfield says no. I will step in and dance with Andreas Engvall, or in England, I should say. Horvat was willing and ready. Mayfield getting a couple of rights in there on England. Well, we haven't seen Scott fighting in quite a while. It's good to see for Scott to get to get involved in it. And great on Scotty for stepping in. You don't want Horvat fighting, and Scotty recognized that. Excellent job, and England's a tough character. Yeah, Scotty's done very, very well. They go through some uh, some punches, a cheap shot hit. But Matt, just watch this. Matt's got his head down. Watch Horvat right here too. Let's yep, go. Yep. I, I love that from Scott Mayfield. Just love it. Yeah, and it, you know, the, I get the fighting part, but I didn't like the fight because that was a clean hit. He didn't run him, and, and Barzell had his head down, and he, he wasn't expecting it. And uh, yep, Horvat, no. as you said, was going at it, but Mayfield stepped in with uh, England, but. Nothing wrong with that hit at all. I agree with you, Butch. Well timed, and, and that's twice. He pointed out the Gabrikov hit uh, right before that on Brock Los Nelson. Angeles penalty to number five has five minutes for fighting. New York penalty number 24 has two minutes for unsportsmanlike conduct. And five Getting physical there was Bortuzzo. It's Kempe across for Dowdy. Fiala set up on the half wall, got it through, and they score. Kempe sneaks it short side on Sorokin after a long seam pass connected. Yeah, that was a great play and, and a really good shot by Kempe. He's a one time that did not didn't lift the stick up over his shoulders. Just a quick snapshot beats Sorokin as he gets there, but just not in time. But what a great pass all the way across. And just watch this is already in the net, and Sorokin's trying to get across. He had to come from one side all the way to the other side, but Fiala with a beautiful pass and just a great shot. That's just, you know, sometimes you got to say. Past him, Marcel Dion for the most assists in LA Kings franchise history. Yeah, that's quite an accomplishment. Marcel was a heck of a hockey player. Put up a lot of points. Fiala's pass across, Gavrikov scores! Vladislav Gavrikov. Just under the bar and in, and the Kings have opened up a 2 nothing lead. Side, they'll watch Ilya's right shoulder. Some space open, and I think Bertuzzo going down to block the shot. Maybe it just gets lost. A little, little a turnover right there. Yeah, I, I don't think he saw it at all, because he comes out, 
doesn't make a move. He's just establishing position. He's getting screened right there, maybe in front with Moore. I wonder if they're looking at interference at all with Moore. It was in pretty tight to him. Jumped out of the way. Yeah, they're, oh, they're Blaine Lambert just all of a sudden yelled, hey, they were about to drop that puck. Evan Fiala, Dowdy. Guarded by Clutterbuck. Fiala touched with Kopitar. Now they get it across. Kempe tapped in front and a great stretching save. Yeah, Ilya stretched as far as he possibly could to get this. Well, they give it all the way to Kempe and he's hanging on. Romanov comes across. Got to have a little better angle so he can't pass it through you. Watch the angle. See, he's giving, he's giving it up. Got to come more to his right. Allow him to shoot the puck. You want to shoot the puck on the short side? Go ahead. Don't Out high for Riley. Riley, right side, Mayfield to the front. Barzell with lots of time, and he hit the crossbar. And it's Horvat and Barzell. It's really got to get something going. Let's just see if there's anything there. I mean, I, uh, he might if he's down an inch, it, uh, he might have got lucky. There was a little bit of room there as Talbot trying to be as tall as a house. And period, they are 13 and 0 when they start the third period with a lead. That's pretty good. That is awfully good. Well, let's see if the Islanders can uh, maybe they're due. The Kings. That all starts with a great pass by Dowdy. Dubois over Laferriere, denied by Sorokin. Freed it up for Kemp base. Sorokin reaching for his stick. He's able to grab it. Meanwhile, the puck comes out of the zone, and here goes Engvall. Pierre Engvall in on Talbot. It's through him and then wrapped up in his pads and carried off to the corner. And the coach's trust, right? The confidence to play you. Can change your season around. Here is Barzell grabbing that puck, hanging on to it, drops it off. Riley shots a rebound, score! <laughs> Anders Lee, it's a one goal game. And Anders Lee stops in front. There's Piala, a little turnover right in that area. Look at Barzell with the quickness and then time and space. A little back pass to Horvat and then the out in front. Beautiful play right there by Anders Lee, who who stops, well, that was, excuse me, that was Mike Riley that jumped up on the play. Similar to his goal the other night, Butch. Turned out to be an on factor as Mayfield shot, save, rebound, score! Anders Lee has two goals in the third period and the Islanders have come back to even the score. And it's all about the face-off win again for, for the Islanders. Creates that opportunity. I believe it's Barzell gets it back to the point. Quick little pass. There's the shot. Okay, Anders Lee, go to the net. Nice fortuitous bounce there. So it was Anders Lee that actually got it back. And Mayfield does a great job to get it through. Big juicy rebound, and England's not able to tie Anders Lee up. And watch him push it back and then rush to the net. Great play by Anders Lee. Great face off by Horvath. As Kopitar wins that defense is on draw, and they hit Kempe on a break, and Sorokin comes up with an enormous save. You just got to be aware of what's going on in behind you, and Riley gets caught watching the play, and Sorokin comes up with a huge save. You just got to know where your know where your men are, and especially a guy like Kempe, who's been so hot. So Sorokin bails out his defenseman. Riley came over and tapped the pass. Even with two minutes to play, here's Paul Mary with Pajot off the post. Paul Mary, glove side on Talbot, still alive out in front. He'll be down a goal, but it starts with a good forecheck, turnover, and there's Paul Mary. And Gavrikov takes away the pass, so no choice. He's got to go for it. Hits the post. Keeps it away from Laferriere, and the Islanders come back from down 2 0 in the third. Both goals from Anders Lee, and they have forced the Kings into overtime. Already in what is their 26th game of the year. Notice the Kings shootout record 0 oh 2, which surprises me a little bit. Kempe's shot deflected by Dobson, chipped on by Holmstrom. Pajo! A chance to win it! Scores! No history tonight on Long Island! JG Pajo completes the comeback! In regulation time, they win it 3-2 on the second of the year from J.G. Pajol. Nothing I can add to that, Brendan. Just a really good effort. Pajol, full speed, 
and just goes five hole with it. Help hung on to it. Tell what guest came out hard. Watch him come out hard, and then just not able to cover up the five hole. You got to drop that stick down. I'm guessing that's what he tried to do.